Good morning, everyone. Today is Wednesday, and it's exactly 10 a.m. And today I'm gonna go to the Kanayek Pupu Ruins. I hope I said correctly. Most of the street here have a baby sound to it. I don't know. It's really hard to pronounce the the street name there. Anyhow. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna go for a bit hiking. This is my hiking suit for today. Uh, as usually, I got my pink backpack with me. And I, I think I need to get some more water because I only have one bottle and it might might gonna be a long walk. So I'm gonna get myself some more water. And yeah, I'll see you then. I just arrived. Gosh, look at that. Just at the bus stop. Look at the station. I would call it butterfly spot. There's so many of them. I could be here all day, but I, I should keep going. Gosh, they just flew above my head. Okay, so I need to keep going straight all the way and then I will get there. Okay, I need to take this side road, not the main road. And further ahead is the Haniki Pupu Ruins. And to the right of me, Even here, right in the middle of a jungle, you can still find two chickens just passing by. I don't know if they got lost or they're like wild chickens. But yeah. Wild animals everywhere. That's what I love about it. Like it's full of nature and animals that I never saw anywhere else. So many snails and butterflies and so many kinds of birds. Okay, I think I found the river. So right over there. Okay, so my first stop in my way to the ruins is this small yet lovely waterfall. And there is like a small it's so cool. Look at this. Such a private school. You could only get in. Okay, so I'm at I ran away. Hi Rana! I dedicated it to my lovely dog. Seven nice number three. Three nine three nine. I'm definitely on the right path, right Lana? It seems to reach another spot before getting to the rain. I think it's called Judah Trail. I'm gonna check it out. Look at this huge lumber. Oh, I can hear the river. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's a spot that takes me right to the river. So it's also looking pretty empty. I think if I knew I would bring a swimsuit. Not 
sure there's somebody here because I see a bag, but I don't see anyone. I'm a bit woolly and curious who would leave their bag just in the middle of nowhere. So pretty. Small leaves falling down, it looks like rain. Okay, I think I'm almost there. But look at this view. This mountain is breathtaking. I think whoever lives here, it's probably like living like George of the Jungle. You, <laughs> you're almost completely disconnected from the rest of civilization. And just view those mountains and miles on miles of nature and birds and animals. This is quite amazing. It's probably not for everyone, but for the solitude soul, I think this place is like the perfect club. Yeah. Well, I think I might miss my spot. Google Maps confused me again. I can feel the GPS get updates. I pace <laughs> if that's my point. But I'm gonna check what's in here. It looks like a cool location. So let's see. One, two, three. Okay. Um, I'm not sure where this road's gonna leave me. back a bit and then find a proper road to pass because this I think gonna be too complicated. So yeah. Okay, show me. Okay, this spot is amazing. Just amazing. It's one of the previous new areas. Let me show you. It's like two huge gates made out of leaves and flowers. This is... I, I really am out of world. I, I find myself stopping every few minutes, meters because I just have to take a photo because it's so pretty. I can barely walk for a full five minutes. Okay, I was so absorbed in the view, I almost missed my spot again. But yeah, this is the right road that I accidentally passed earlier because Look at this sign. I didn't know if people were supposed to pass here. Okay, so this is the road to Bamboo Forest and after this I'm supposed to get to the wine. This road is so cool. This, that's probably the Bamboo Forest. But, like obviously, I don't know, there is a small way here, but I'm gonna keep going forward. Okay, so I need to pass this huge lamp, kind of blocking way. So, probably need to crawl under it. There we go! Fall on my head, can I fall on my head? Yay, made it! This is quite long bamboo forest. Okay, I passed all the bamboo forest and I found myself here. I'm not sure if it's the way to the ruins because I don't really see a clear way from here. You see? This one seems well. I can probably push myself through but I don't know if I really want to. The river is that way. So I think the ground should be behind me. Maybe I don't know. Everything looks so much the same here. Okay, I'll try and go back a bit and see if I find the road. It's like the ground is supposed to be right there, but I don't see any road to go there. Probably should go back a bit and take. A left inside the bamboo forest. That is here. And that's the way I came from. Yeah, this 
she's completely broke. So I go back a bit. Ah, careful on my head. Ah, it's so muddy in here. Okay. I think it's gonna, it would have been quite hard for a really tall person to press here. So I'm somewhere in the middle. I'm not extremely tall, but I'm not short either. I think I'm like average medium. In Israel, I was considered tall, but probably in Hawaii as well, because most of the population is Asian. Uh, but I guess in Europe, I would consider like average height. Okay, so I found the town, the one that I told you. So ahead of me is the exit of Bamboo Forest, and I'm gonna take this town right right here and hopefully it's the right way because it's right and you have to be right when taking okay not right but oh that's a cool tree Eureka I think I found it just here, in the end of the road, where the sun shines. Yeah, well, you see the light patch. The sun. Oh, that looks so lovely. Oh my God, this is gorgeous. And it took some people bought necklaces and put it on the stone. I don't know, maybe a tradition of good luck. I don't really have any necklaces with me. Maybe I'll find something to put, I don't know. So, those are the ruins. Yeah, they also left money and stuff. Quite cool, quite cool you can be like, uh, you trust people, like that trusting that nobody will take it. That's really amazing. I think I'm gonna have a break and eat my lunch right here because it's so pretty. Okay, it's time for a short lunch break. It's currently almost 10, uh, 10 almost 1 30. So I bought with me strawberry sandwich and peach jam sandwich. So it's gonna be my small lunch. And I have some snacks that I bought with me, like pocky sticks and this so cool, look like traditional Hawaii snack that I just had to try because I like, I love passion fruits, uh, I love pineapple and mango and papaya, <laughs> my new addiction. Uh, guiava not so much, but I hope the other flavors would be more dominant and take over. So yeah, okay.
That is my offering to the rock here in the ruins. Uh, I didn't know I'm supposed to bring with me something, so I just improvised. I found this pretty rock, so it's very really pretty. And this nice looking seed, and the lucky coin that I found when I just got to my place at Nohamahana. When I just arrived to Hawaii, I found this coin on the ground. It's like a small sign, I think, when you find a coin that somebody is watching over you. So now I'm offering it to this place because I feel really good energy here, like really good vibes. And I'm going to make a wish. I'm not going to tell you. And we'll see how it goes. So, yeah. Okay, I put on my shoes after done ground, grounding grounding yeah it really feel nice to actually feel the old beneath your feet uh, so yeah goodbye ruins I'm gonna leave now here I left my offering and made my wish and now I'm gonna find my way out Out from the ruins, the ones for us, and now I'm gonna head back to town. Uh, I don't know if I go to Walmart first or to the restaurant, it's still kind of holy. It's like three, and the restaurant only open at four. So we'll see. Check this house, people actually living on the side of a mountain. The tropical reserve. I wouldn't mind living there, like going to the balcony each morning and <laughs> see all of this. You would probably need a car to get anywhere, but then again, why would you ever want to live on? Seems I'm almost here, like few steps from the restaurant. I really hope I'm gonna break the tradition and it's gonna be open this time. Oh, this is cute. Not sure if it's towels or... Those are really cute. And they have all kinds of dog pillows. It never seems to have an ASCII. I wonder why. I feel like ASCIIs are underrated for some reason. I love it not. It was open this time. I think my course is broke. The restaurant is open. Anyway, my dish just arrived. I ordered sweet and sour tofu and rice with a lot of vegetables. And it looks amazing. And it also smells amazing. If I could only test the smell. 